Hello, I'm Kristen Rogers. It's Thursday, February 29th. Here's a look at today's top stories from your trusted local news source. Last night, Iowa House lawmakers passed a bill making it easier for schools to arm teachers. It's already legal for schools to do this under state and federal law, but some Iowa schools say it's hard to find an insurance company that will allow it. The Students First Safety Act requires training before teachers can carry. The bill also gives staff qualified immunity if they're found to have used reasonable force. That means they can't face criminal or civil liability. Some members of the House say there's risk to arming teachers that need to be considered. Others insist it will improve school safety. If a weapon is concealed or someone can't see it, um, it could fall. Uh, people in the room don't know who has one, and so um, somebody could take it off of somebody's belt, right? There are a lot of, I mean, there are kids around guns, and so a lot of things could go wrong. But even with the best attempts to prevent these scenarios, bad things happen. And this bill will ensure that more people in our school buildings are prepared to respond in the event of these emergency situations. The bill now heads to the Iowa Senate. An Eastern Iowa group wants help deciding which transportation projects should get federal funding. The Corridor Metropolitan Planning Organization has $20 million in new funding for roadway, trail and transit projects. They need to choose between 13 different proposals and they're asking for public input. Staff say even smaller projects can make a big difference for local communities. But the trails projects, um, we have a uh, really showcase uh, community here with the city of Ely. Um, if you go down there on a 70 degree day, you see a thriving downtown district and a really small community because of those connections between Iowa City and Cedar Rapids to there. I mean, it really boosts their uh, economic area. You can find the link to provide your feedback on these plans under this story at KCRG.com. It's been a month since students in Perry returned to class for the first time since a shooting killed a student and principal. Next month, they'll return to a full-time schedule. The district approved the schedule during a meeting this week. Students had been getting out early to help with the transition back to class. Starting March 18th, the elementary students will begin classes at 815 and dismiss at 250. Middle and high school students will begin at 755 and dismiss at 235. At some point, you got to pick a date, you got to pick a time, and you have to move forward. And that's, that's what we're trying to do is hit that sweet spot. The new schedule will carry into next school year. Superintendent Clark Wicks says the state is not expecting them to make up any missed days. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.